Alright, in this video we should get the animation done and then hopefully add a little bit of a shadow and finish it up. So what we've got here is um, we bounced it through. Now I made a little mistake because we need a little bit of room uh, right here. So what we'll do is just make sure that uh, the last ones are selected. So from 9 to 16, we'll just shift them over one. So if you press your B, which is your box select, you can select everything from 9 up. And I'm just going to switch off. You know, so, uh, basically move them over by one frame here. And so I just do that. If I press G, I can grab it and then just move it. So basically we have a frame that's kind of duplicated. This is basically frame 8 and 9 are the same at the moment. So we'll be in frame 9 and we'll go and uh, switch this all here. So make sure you're in edit mode. Press A to select that object. And so here the ball is going to get squashed. So I would grab my scale tool. I squish it this way. And don't, don't worry too much there uh, about the one in behind because that's just the keyframe. I'm going to move that down. I think it needs to be pulled out a bit as well. So I get my scale tool, pull it out to give it this sort of squashed look. Okay, maybe a little bit further down so it's on the ground. You can kind of see it go into it, so right there is probably good. And, you know, it's, it's a little bit up to you there. Okay, so with that frame, that should be it. So if we hit the play here, and um, maybe let's just end it again on frame, I guess, 17. Okay, so those are our frames. Let's play and see. So it looks pretty good, okay? Now, the last little bit that we'll do here is just put a shadow on the bottom. Just so it appears um, that it's actually hitting the ground there. So stop that. So to add that shadow, um, let's go to the nine where it was uh, being, you know, at the bottom because that's where the shadow will be the greatest. And then we'll just sort of edit that um, a little bit, a few frames to the left and a few frames to the right there. Now one thing we want to do is actually add that shadow. So I'm going to go to a 7 on the number pad, so on the far right, right, the number pad there that looks like the calculator, press 7, and that gets you the top view. Now this is the ball here, and then we can, we're going to basically draw the shadow in. So first thing though, let's create a material that will be our shadow. So we can add a new material, and then we'll create a new material, and we should call that shadow. And once we've got that in, uh, turn off the stroke, give it a fill. It will be mostly black, but I'm going to reduce the um, the opacity a little bit to 0.6. So once I've got that in there, um, that's going to be our shadow. We're also going to create a new layer to put our shadow in. So while we're here, let's create a new layer. So just hit the plus here. Uh, we can double click, give it a name, call it shadow. Its position doesn't really matter, but I will put it down below the ball there. Okay. So when we want to draw our ball, and so once we've got our circle, so we can select here, making sure that we're on our draw mode, um, we want to make sure that it's drawn to the surface. So I'm going to click on surface here under origin, so it's not at the sort of the origin here, and give it a little bit of an offset. Um, that just pulls it a little bit off the surface. I think like 0 0.1 is fine. And that way it will be on the ground. And so we've got it to zero, uh, the circle. And I'm just going to draw my circle. And uh, holding shift will make it a perfect circle. There we go. And then we can just sort of position it roughly. You can press G if you need to grab it. I'm just going to press enter because I'm happy with the size. And G, I can move it around. And then press enter. And then there it is. Now it's a little bit off. Shift, grab, maybe scale a little bit, but yeah, it's okay. We'll just sort of deal with that there. I could I could go and change a little bit. Now if I go from my zero view, you can see there it's on the ground, okay? Um, and then we just want to sort of um, start to animate this. So that would be fine there. I'm going to go back a couple, one frame. And so it's um, lost there. Maybe what I'll do is I'll go forward here. It'll be easier. And then we'll just reverse it after. So there it is there in uh, edit mode. 
and then pressing, so making sure that we're on the shadow layer, if I press A, I should be able to get that. I should be able to scale it in a bit. There we go. And then go ahead of another frame and press A again. It's already is scaled. And uh, we'll scale that one in too. And now that I think about that, it probably should scale it from the center, but that's that's okay. Good. So we've got those three. So we can see as it comes in, it's bigger, and as it leaves, it gets smaller. And um, you know, if we want to work the circle our way back there, we're going to do the same same idea. Um, I'll just we did before. Press A here. B. I'm just going to get these guys. So a. We'll double. If I double click A, deselects. If I press B, I can box select. What I'm going to do is I'm going to shift D. I'm going to duplicate those two. Move those over here. And then we'll just reverse them like we did before. So I'll put my cursor there. So again, scale, so S along the X, negative 1. And it just rot uh, rotates those lines. Press Enter. And I'll just grab those, press G to grab. And move them there. So it should now, there we go. So it gets that. Mm -hmm. Looks pretty good. So let's just play it here. I seem to have... I think what I need to do is, because it stays there, I think I need to create another keyframe where basically this guy is gone. So I'm just going to make sure I'm on my shadow. I'm going to press A, and I'm just going to scale that to nothing. Okay, and same thing for, actually that should, let me just see here. Yeah, so I've got that same, oh no, that's good. So it's all gone there, and then it appears, and then it disappears. Yep, and don't worry, I think that would be Okay, there. So let's just hit play again. Pretty good. If I double click A, there's really nothing there. There's a little dot. I probably could have got rid of that, but that's pretty good. So that's your how to do a basic 2D bounce animation.